everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dominique. I make videos on personal financing and my debt-free journey. Um, I'm 24, I live on my own for right now. And yeah, if you like those kind of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. We are almost at 200 subscribers, uh, which is really great. And if you want to help this channel get there, that'd be really appreciated. So today, my this video is all about my second paycheck for July. Um, I was away this weekend, and that's when I usually do this little budgeting video. But today is actually my payday. Um, it is the, what is it, the 28th, I think? One second. Yep, it's the 28th. I get paid every other Tuesday. And so today is payday. So I'm going to do my budget video. Um, or I'm going to write out my budget, I mean. And then I might have time today to stop at the ATM. I'm not entirely sure because I do have a training after work that usually goes um, until late into the night. So. Not sure if I'll be able to get to the ATM, but regardless, I will be able to show you what's going on today. So as you can see, my spending tracker is pretty full. I even took it over to the next page, which I have not had to do yet. Um, I did have a lot of expenses this month so far, even though I was trying not to do that. But, you know life happens I guess August will hopefully not be like that got my calculator over here so we can all see what's going on and let me zoom you all in a little bit now okay so I did go ahead and fill out my little um bills section here part of it at least uh those don't really change um Paycheck number two is always going to be the same as paycheck number one for these because I split them in half. And then I did go through, as you can see here, I did cross out some areas of my budget. And that's because I decided that I don't want to fill those out for this paycheck. Um, I'd rather that money just go somewhere else in these categories. So, as you can see, um, Spotify never gets paid for the second paycheck because that comes out the first paycheck. But I am not going to contribute to my home sinking fund, my gifts sinking fund, um, my anniversary sinking fund because that happened this weekend. So, I really don't need to contribute to that for a while. Um, my hygiene cash envelope and my spending and investing cash envelope. Um, all of these, they're pretty full, minus the spending. That's pretty empty, but I've been doing a lot of spending, so I really don't want to give myself that option, um, spending more money, because I'm just really bad. I think I'm worse with spending than I am with groceries. But yeah, regardless, these things are not going to be full. Okay, so my paycheck for, my paycheck amount, my paycheck total, whatever, for paycheck number two is $911.91. Um, my last paycheck was much higher, that is $1,012.74, but that's because um, there was holiday pay in that, and that there's obviously no holiday pay in this paycheck. So, let me put the total of my paycheck in here. That way we can deduct. So, 405 for rent, 950 for water, 35 for electricity, and 2750 for internet. And sorry if my voice is a little weird today. Um, I'm filming in the morning, like I just woke up like an hour ago, so I'm still like trying to be fully awake, I guess you could say. Okay, workouts, um, 
it should be so last time i did say that i added a workout program to my already workout program thing so i wasn't really sure how much it would deduct me or cost me for this month because of just how they set it up and i actually don't know if i'm even going to be charged anymore because i like met my goal on it and i think that when you meet your goal you don't have to pay anymore i'm not really sure um i'll just add the ten dollars to that though um making it thirteen dollars because three dollars for my other one um just in case and if not then that's fine i mean it's not like that money will be spent okay uh student loans we skip that until the end car insurance forty dollars goes into that and then um seven dollars goes into my renter's insurance car tags um i still haven't figured out how much it's gonna be i looked at the paperwork and it makes it look like i'm gonna pay the same thing every year but i honestly have no idea so we'll just stick to ten dollars for now uh car maintenance ten dollars i actually had to use money from the sinking fund i almost had to use money from the sinking fund twice because i hit my tire on a curb which you know it's a common thing to do but it took a huge chunk out of the tire <laughs> and i had to drive all the way to virginia the next day so i was like well gotta replace this tire now which it was under warranty still because i had all my tires replaced back in march um so it only cost me like 13 dollars and that was to re-add like the road hazard thing i don't really know what it was um and then like labor and stuff so that only cost me 13 dollars but on my way back from virginia um i my some like guard or something on the undercarriage like a bolt came out so it's just dragging itself on the freeway and i was like oh man i'm gonna have to take this in i'm not even in the state that i live in anymore how am i supposed to just like wait around for this to be fixed if they're able to fix it today but a good samaritan uh bless him he came over when he saw me looking underneath my car and he offered to help and um then a like department of transportation person drove by so we were able to flag him down and he had some wires and so they were able to like tie it back up onto the car and like tie it together um so i was able to drive to a car maintenance plate car mechanic um and they said you know if it's if you got it rigged up then it should be fine most people just tear it off anyway uh so yeah that was stressful so i'm really glad i have a sinking fund because um like if i didn't have that warranty it would have been way more than 13 dollars probably closer to 100 dollars to replace that tire and if it was something more drastic than just like some guard underneath the car then that would have cost more money too so anyway back to <laughs> back to this skipping home medical always add five dollars to that um i think i'm only gonna do this for a couple more paychecks because i want to get that sinking fund up to 100 dollars, and i think i'm like at 80 or 85 something like that um boo -boo -boo, skip gifts because that's pretty full adventures always put ten dollars to that wedding that always gets 20. um uh, my ally account i'm gonna put 10. And do you remember that I am now, excuse me, I am now putting um, my wedding sinking fund into my ally account 
so those will go so thirty dollars will be put into the ally account um my joint savings also gets ten dollars christmas will get five dollars um okay skipping anniversary because we've just had that and i do have money left over in there gas gets forty dollars although i know i already went over budget for that for the month groceries gets eighty Skipping hygiene, because that's pretty full. Eating out, ooh. Do I want to, okay, I'm not gonna contribute to entertainment because I don't do anything. I just stay home. Um, I'll contribute the $10 to eating out though. Okay, so I definitely have a lot more left over than I thought I did. So before I, oh, no I don't, I almost forgot again. Intermittent gets $20. I forgot, but I forgot to add it to here. It's all the way here at the bottom. Okay, minus 20. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this all up really quickly to make sure that it's correct before I put in what I'm gonna add to my credit card and student loans. Okay, so that did work. And let me see here. So I definitely want to put a lot towards my credit card because I am close to paying that off. Um, and I do have to add $3 to that also because the um, that $3 charge there came out of my credit card. And I want to put a good amount for student loans too. Let me see, if I put 50 towards student loans, I still have 94, 91. Okay, let's just do that. So 50 to student loans, which means 94, 91 to my credit card plus the three dollars from up here. Which I'm not gonna like take that out of there because it was already paid the other day. I do need to switch that back over to my debit card though because that does get confusing. Okay, so. Let me just add this all up again, just to make sure that it all zeroes out. Alrighty, it zeroed out, which means we have a zero base budget which is what we were looking for and now i just have to get the cash out for um some of these things so that will probably most likely happen tomorrow and as we learned last time my atm only gives out 20s and i only have two things yeah, two things on here. Not even two. I only have... No, I'm right. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> I only have one thing on here. The groceries. That is cash. That I use cash for. That would take 20. Everything else is less than 20. So, 
I do need to figure out how to go about that. I would just like go somewhere and ask them to break the 20 or 20s into 10. But there's the whole like coin shortage going on and people don't or businesses don't want you using cash now because they can't give change back. Um, which like only causes more of the problem. But anyway, um, yeah, so we will see about that. I might just have to wait to stuff the, some of these things, um, other than groceries, that one I need to do now. Um, but yeah, I mean, the other things don't need to be stuffed automatically because groceries is really the only thing that I would be spending cash on and um, all the uh, all these things here or like eating out is the only thing that I only other thing that I would use cash for and um, I still have plenty in that cash envelope so there might be a part two to this I'm not entirely sure Probably not, just in case I don't actually end up getting the cash, just because I really don't know what to do about bills under 20. Um, so actually, yeah, we'll just end it here, but let me know what you all do. Um, if you can't get bills from like your ATM that are less than 20 and you need them. So for example, if you don't know what I'm talking about, so like, I can only get 20s at my ATM, so that makes it difficult to stuff the cash envelope for eating out because I only want to put $10 in there, but I can't get a $10 from the ATM. So I could just switch out for other things and other cash envelopes, I guess, but eventually I would only have 20s in everything, and I don't want that. So. I don't know, what do you all do? What do you all suggest me doing for that? Um, also, are you all having trouble spending cash? Even if, like, you feel, even if the business doesn't straight up say we are not taking cash, do you feel obligated to still use a credit or a debit card just because you don't want to be, like, a burden to that business that's what I feel at least like when I went out I got dinner last night and um, the I didn't have enough exact change to cover my bill but I had a 20 the total was only like seven dollars and I had a 20 but I didn't want to give them the 20 and then them have to like try and struggle to give me my change or just have them say we can't take the 20 at all. I don't know. Maybe I should have just done it because I did end up using my debit card, which skewed my uh, spending. But, you know, whatever. Um, what do you all do? That's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit of a mess, but it wouldn't be one of my videos if it wasn't. So. My next uh, video should be on my July budget review. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Remember, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. If you like budgeting videos like this, make sure you hit that like button so that I know. And I will see you all next time. Bye.